Let's take a look at how to record in Google Meet. Okay, now I am already in my Google Meet. And I want my students to have access to my video even after we're not meeting live. So I'm going to go over here. I went to the three dots. Remember, anytime you see three dots, that means there's more. So I'm going to hit record meeting. And it says to ask for consent. And now you're going to see this little record icon over here pop up. So it is now recording. So let's say that I want to record my screen. So I'm going to go to present now. I'm going to do my entire screen. And I'm going to go to another tab. So it lets me know that I'm presenting to everyone. So this is webwhiteboard.com. So I'm going to pick the red and I'm going to do a math problem. 3x plus 2 is equal to, I don't know, let's say 6. So I can show my students how to solve this problem. I don't um, drag my pen across. So I'm going to subtract 2, subtract 2, and then I can finish working the problem. My students can have the same instruction that they have from me at their homes as they do um, in the classroom. So now I'm going to be finished with my recording. So I'm going to go back over here. So now you all see what's on my screen. Now, if this block right here down at the bottom gets in your way, hit the, I, the hide button and it will, um, it'll stop. So once again, I'm going to go to the three dots, going to hit stop recording, stop recording. So my recording is going to be saved in my Google Drive. So in a couple of minutes, if that long, it will give me a notification. So it did give me a notification. I missed it with the camera. So one of the things you can do is you can go to your drive. So this is where you'd probably come to first. I found it at recent. It gives you the ID of the meeting, the date, and the time. So if I want to double click it to double check it, so it's going to take it a couple of minutes, depends on how long the video is, to process. So when it processes the video, uh, we'll be able to see it and view it. So it's not processed yet. So I'm going to back up and I'm going to get a shareable link. So I'm going to hit the link button Notice this is blue. It says link sharing is off. I'm going to turn link sharing on. Now this is for anyone at Schools of the Sacred Heart can view. I can change this so that it is, if I click here, I'm going to do the down, more, so that it's on for anyone with the link. If somebody has trouble viewing your video, it's going to be because they're logged into their mom's account or their dad's account. So if that does give you issues, I would turn it to um, anyone with the link. So I'm just going to leave it with anyone at Sacred Heart. So I've copied the link. Now I'm going to go over here, whoops, to my Google Classroom. Let me get to the beginning. I'm going to add classwork. I'm going to create, I'm going to call this a material. I'll see. Recording in Google Meet. I'm going to add a link, or I can also add it from Google Drive. Control paste, add link, and it's added. So that's all there is to it.